each hour spent tracking down information related to production events is an hour taken away from making improvements to the business. Reducing the investigation time is the critical first step in improving the business by making better decisions faster. Solving this problem produces the information needed to optimally set priorities and allocate improvement resources. Operators and frontline process engineers need the operational analytics to increase operator effectiveness and reduce risks. Aspen Event Analytics was designed for operators and frontline process and production engineers to analyze and understand the causes behind production events. Easy to learn and use, requires no supporting data science team, and leverages the cloud for scalability. We're going to take a look at um, some data related to an event that happened in production in the wee hours of the morning. And to begin that investigation, I'm going to create a new event. This was a disturbance in the temperature of one of the feeds. And so we're going to create a new event for that. And I'm going to specify some data. I'll use our tutorial data. And then the next thing I want to do is to give the software an indication of where one of these events might have occurred. So we, we think we had a disturbance uh, in the production line last evening. So 18, 20, 20, and I think that was at about 4 in the morning. It don't have to be exact, just sort of in the ballpark. And we'll apply that. And actually that should be once per month. All right, and then the next thing I need to do is to associate some data tags with this event. So we notice the disturbance acting on one of the main temperature tags. So we'll certainly include that, but let's look for some of the related things as well. And so I'll search for some of the other tags in the set and we'll add a few of those. And that should be enough to give us a good first guess at what's going on. And so now we've uh, associated all of the data. I'll go ahead and render that. So this is the full data set that we're going to investigate. All right. So with that, the next thing is to go through that discovery process where the software will go out and find the, the signatures, if you will, in these data uh, that relate to this event. So we'll send it off to do that discovery. So the software is just about finished with that discovery process and it's looked over that time slice that we specified, that 12 hour slice, and it's identified um, a number of characteristics. So in that uh, one of the pressure variables, it saw sort of a rising signature. In that temperature variable, it saw a spike. And in one of the related pressure variables, it saw a rising function. So those are sort of the characteristics of this event that it identified. So the next thing to do then is to see um, how many other occurrences of this event there were. So to do that, I go into the validation process. And so that begins first with uh, specifying the criteria. And so I'll start with just that first definition that I provided. And I can see from the little human icon if that's something that, that someone uh, expressed. And now we're going to let the software search through history and find all other occurrences of event that fit this definition. All right, and it's just about finished. And so with that, we've looked through a year's worth of data and found a number of occurrences. I've rendered four here, but you can see on the right, there's a full list with all the date and timestamps of when other occurrences of this event were noted by the software. So from here, then I, I can actually use this information to go back and aggregate all of this and look at the financial impact of this kind of a disturbance and um, use that information to help allocate resources and priority for fixing this problem. So in just a very few minutes, we were able to start with a basic uh, discovery process, look at a disturbance, understand its characteristics, and then mine historical data to find all other occurrences.